111 feet today, and every year in Las Vegas, they have a competition for cowboys all over the world doing this spin. Now, this spin, yeah, maybe go back just a little bit more because I keep hitting the backdrop. Now this spin, if we were to stand a bride and a groom, a man and his wife, a newly married couple in this loop, and they would give each other a great big kiss, it would make their wedding official. Do I have any people want to come up and give somebody else a kiss inside this rope? <laughs> no, that hand went down awful fast. Well, then to get out of this loop, a lot of times the cowboys do what's called the juggle, where they just take this rope and spin it up in the air and over off their body. Did I hit it? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, that brings me to Cowboy Alfredo. Come on out here, Alfredo. Remember, it's all up to you. If you don't do it right, we are tied up for a month. And I do not want to be tied up with you for a month, okay? So the first thing you're going to do is get your rope ready. So you're going to point your fingers down. You're going to hold it in against your chest. You're going to keep your elbows in so I don't catch any elbows, okay? Then, when I say the cowboy word, go! I want you to spin your rope, okay? But don't start moving until I say go, else we could end up being tied up for a month. All right? Are you nervous? You are? Oh, no. That worries me a bit. I thought you were a professional flat loop spinner. Okay. Well, then, I better do my part right. My part will be the big loop spin around the two of us. And then your part, when I say go, will be the flat loop spin. Now, I need everyone to turn off all electronic devices, except for cameras. Well, all right, you don't need to turn off any electronic device. But when I start to spin this rope, even the slightest air movement could tie him and I up for a month. So I need everybody, when I say, hold your breath, I want you to hold your breath while I spin this rope. Okay, here we go. Hold your breath. Okay, you can let it out now. Oh boy, we got that big loop spin going. My part is going here. Cowboy Alfredo, go. With your flat loop spin, first time ever in the city of Hawthorne, a double cowboy loop spin. Oh, what? Oh, 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 oh. Well, we pulled it off. Will you give Alfredo here a great big hand? Go ahead, sit back down. Woo, boy, that one scared me just a little bit at the end there. This is Martin, but right now he will be known for this trick as Desperado. Can you say howdy, Desperado? Now, Desperados were kind of bad guys in the Old West. Every now and then the cowboys would encounter these guys and have to tie them up and hold on to them for the law. The problem was this. Desperados were famous for not taking a bath for five and six months at a time. Ooh. So when we met up with them, we had to figure out a way to tie them up without ever laying a hand on them, okay? So, come on over here. We're gonna set up Desperado right here. Okay, then I am gonna proceed to throw a rope over Desperado and cinch it down around his waist. I'm gonna tie up both of his arms behind his back. I'm going to tie up both of his feet, finally hog tying his feet together so he can't get away, all from standing over here. So, Desperado, are you ready to get tied up? All right. So put your hands to your side right now. I'm going to throw this rope up and over your body, cinch it down around your waist. Go ahead, pull your arms out. Get your arms loose. Up, up, up through the rope. Nope, nope, not that way. Inside the rope. There. Yep, yep, come up through here, up, up through inside the rope. That's it, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all the way up like this. And the other one, okay. Step that way just a little bit. Just walk this way. There you go, stop. Hold up your arms like this. I am going to proceed to throw a loop, two loops, a half hitch, then a full hitch knot over his left arm. So here it comes. This is called the flying loop trick. And a cowboy named Will Rogers about 70 years ago or so made this trick famous all over the world. All right, so hold that arm up, hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Slide it onto your wrist, put your arm back this way, there. My goodness, you are a tricky desperate, there. 
Okay, put that arm behind your back. No, that's right. Now, turn and face the wall. No, point your toes toward the wall. Point your toes toward that wall. Turn, turn, turn. There you go. Hold your right arm up for me. No, your other left arm. No, your other right arm. No, but put that arm behind. There you go. I'm getting confused now. All right, Desperado, hold that arm straight out and up a little higher. Here we go. Another half inch knot over that arm. There's one. Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Don't move, don't move. We're going to throw another half hitch knot over that arm, making a full hitch knot. Okay, Desperado, put that arm behind your back. Now look at me over your shoulder. Okay, I want you to take your right foot. On the count of three, I want you to hold it up to the side that way, okay? And I'm going to throw a half hitch knot over his feet because I have to tie up his feet now. So face the wall. Hold up that right foot. One, two, three. Hold it up. Woo! Put it down. There it is, right around his ankle. Now turn and face me, Desperado. Okay, this time I want you to hold up your other right foot so I can throw a loop around it. Here it comes, and we have another half hitch knot over that arm foot. Now I've tied up his waist, his arms, his feet, but walk toward me, Desperado. He can still walk. Can you walk backwards? Just walk backwards. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. That's perfect, right there. But this time, I am about to hog tie both of his feet together. So this time, he cannot get away. And now, Desperado, on the count of three, I want you to jump straight in the air like that with your feet together, okay? Now, you do know how to count to three, don't you? So remember, the count of three is very important. Here it comes. One, two, 17. Oh, he's a good listener. Well. I'm not going to trick you this time because everybody out there is going to help to count to three and then you're going to jump, okay? Are you ready? One, two, three, jump! Put your feet together. Can you walk? <laughs> Hogtie Desperado! Now, uh, moms and dads and grandparents, I do give lessons on this technique after it's over, okay? <laughs> All right, go ahead, get out of there. It's a great way for time out to keep them in one place here. Are you still trying to get out? Are you still, well, while he's trying to get out, I need two more volunteers. Well, in this story, I will be Br'er Fox. This young man whose name is? Jose. Jose, Jose will be Br'er Bear, okay? Now, Jose, we gotta be tough, be tough. Show everybody how to be angry. Okay, now Jose, you're gonna march back and forth here. So walk up here and turn and march over to about where she is and turn and come back. Go march, march, turn and come back. Over to about the end of the rug and then turn and go back. And just keep marching. Okay, come back over here. Very, very good. Now Jose, Br'er Bear, you are also gonna be tired. Can you yawn? Ah, yeah, yeah. And you're gonna go to sleep like this. Okay, and finally, you're gonna do some other stuff, but the big thing is you're gonna dance. So I'm gonna sing a song and you're gonna show everybody your great moves. Are you ready? Skip, skip, skip to my loo, skip, skip, skip. Hey, give him a big hand. That is really good moves. Jose, you are a great, now are you gonna be on Dancing with the Stars this year? No, oh, you should be. Well, that brings us to this young girl. What's your name? Ashley. Ashley. Ashley is going to be known as Tar Girl. You're going to be made out of tar, like the stuff out on the streets, you know, they fix the cracks with. If you were made out of tar, can you walk? Can you talk to me? Can you shake your head no? <laughs> That's hard to do, isn't it? Well, Ashley, I'm going to tell her her part, and then we're on with this story. One day, Br'er Bear and Br'er Fox, we took over the water well in Br'er Woods. We would not let any of you animals come and drink water out of that well unless you paid us berries. What's your favorite berry, Br'er Bear? Blackberries. Blackberries, and they brought us those, and blueberries, and strawberries, and we ate. Oh, man, it was great. And then nighttime came, and I went, oh, Br'er Bear, Br'er Rabbit has not been here yet. You must march and guard this well. Do not let Br'er Rabbit drink out of this well or those animals will not pay us berries anymore. You got it? Yeah. Okay, so Br'er Bear began to march. He began to guard that well. He was doing very, very well. But then he began to get tired. He had been awake all day. Can you march being very tired? He was marching being very tired. Oh, he could hardly keep his eyes open when all of a sudden, out of the 
briar patch, a thorny, thorny area of bushes with big thorns came Brer Rabbit. <laughs> look at that silly Brer Bear. Keep marching, Brer Bear. Be tired. Oh, look at him. Watch this. Go to sleep. And he yawned really big. Go to sleep. And he went to sleep. Go to sleep. Brer Bear. <laughs> I didn't have to pay berries. And he went over and drank water out of the well. <laughs> oh, silly Brer Bear. Bye. <laughs> Next morning I came in, I made Brer Bear stand over here, Brer Bear. You're gonna get some sleep, I'll guard the well. And I did all day long and all the animals brought us berries again. That night when he came back, we ate and now he was ready to guard the well. He was wide awake. He was not gonna let that Brer Rabbit trick him. But the problem tonight was there was a party in Brer Town and he was mad, march and be mad. Oh, he was so mad because everybody was in town having fun. He could hear everyone laughing. <laughs> oh, he was mad. And about that time, Br'er Rabbit once again came out of the Br'er Patch. Ha, ah, look at that silly Br'er Bear. Watch this. Get your feet to dance again on into town, Br'er Bear. And he began to dance. Get your feet to dance again on into town, Br'er Bear. And Br'er Bear danced all the way into town to the wall. Get your feet to dance again on into town. You're going to have to stay right there, Br'er Bear. Oh, I'm going to drink the water. I didn't have to pay any berries. Ha, ha, ha. Bye. <laughs> well, when I came back the next morning, I realized I was going to have to do something. That Br'er Bear had let, it, let me down again, and I had to somehow or another do something to teach that Br'er Rabbit a lesson once and for all. And I had an idea. I went into the woods, and I got some tar. I knew as the sun would go across the sky, she was going to turn into really sticky tar. And if you touched her, you were going to get stuck and you couldn't get off. I was hoping maybe Br'er Rabbit would get stuck to her somehow. And in the morning, Br'er Bear and I, we'd teach that rabbit a lesson once and for all. We would have rabbit stew for breakfast. Mm -mm -mm. So I left. Sure enough. Nighttime came, and out of the Br'er Patch once again came Br'er Rabbit. Ha <laughs> ha, I wonder where Br'er Bear is. Whoa! That's the strangest looking creature I've ever seen. I know, watch this. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, strange creature! Oh, that didn't work, watch this. Get your feet a dancing, get on into town, strange creature. Get those feet to dance and get on into town, strange creature! <laughs> strange creature, you're really making me mad! You better get out of my way so I can drink water out of the well! I know, she must be hard of hearing. Strange creature, you better get out of my way so I can drink water out of the well! I know, I didn't ask her nicely. Strange creature, may I please, pretty please, drink water out of the well? How rude. Strange creature! You better get out of my way. Let me drink water of the well, but first I'm gonna hit you with my paw. You asked for it. One, it's really gonna hurt. Two, three, left up your right. Wake up! One, two, three, whack it. <laughs> ah! Strange creature, you better be able to give me back both my paws. Let me drink water of the well or I'm going to kick you with my foot. One, 